good morning. We're cooking today because sometimes after Thanksgiving, you have a lot of cranberry sauce left over and you just wonder, what do I do with this? You know, I use it as like a jam or jelly on toast until it's gone. I love this stuff. Some people don't and that's okay. But I think it's because you see it as something that goes with turkey, but there's no other way to eat it and that's wrong. There are lots of ways to eat it. Today we're gonna do one that's really, really easy. So you've seen one ingredient, that's our cranberry sauce. This is the stuff that I made homemade and it smells so good. I have a can of crescent roll dough, but this is not cut. So you know how you get a can of crescent rolls and you open it up you roll it out and it's like perforated in uh, triangles. This is just one solid sheet of crescent roll dough, which is exactly what we need because we're not gonna be making crescent rolls. I bet if you wanted to, if you just got regular crescent rolls before rolling them up, you could put some of this in there and then just like roll it up like usual and then you could have cranberry crescent rolls. That could be really tasty. We're not doing that today. I have a third ingredient here and this is all we're putting in this but I have a long cheese stick, essentially, of brie cheese. So this is long and skinny, and it's round. It's a thin edible rind on this brie cheese. So let me show you, let me move the camera so I can show you what we're gonna pull together because this is gonna be really easy and I think it'll be really nice for like an after school snack, afternoon snack, in addition to your brunch table, with breakfast, for breakfast, um, dessert, whenever, I don't know. But, um, oh, I didn't show you this. I have a mini cupcake tin. So, let me move the camera and we'll get to making these. Before I get too far along, I'm preheating the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So I have a wooden cut cutting board here. First, I'm gonna spray my little mini cupcake tin with cooking spray. Next, I'm gonna open up our can of crescent dough. I think this, this recipe is gonna come together pretty easily. And before I get too excited, I'm actually gonna go ahead and flour my cutting board, just lightly, because I don't want our dough to stick. My hands are clean, so we'll just unroll our crescent dough. So our crescent roll has been stretched out. I didn't, you know, pull too hard, but I do want to cut this into, let's see, 12 squares. So let me get a, a big knife. So half and then half again, and then we do three this way. It's not perfect, but it is good enough to make me happy. So then I'll take my little tray and I'm gonna lay each square in the bottom of each little cupcake tin. You wanna be sure you're not poking a hole in the bottom because we don't want any leaking. So here's our tray with our little empty crescent roll shells. We haven't baked it yet. We are just about to put our cheese in. So I'm gonna open up my little brie cheese tube. And then I'm just gonna cut off about half inch discs of brie and I'm gonna leave the rind on. So what I'm doing here is I'm cutting cheese that's gonna go right into the center of our crescent rolls. So I need 12 of these. If you don't like brie, you don't have to use brie. You could use goat cheese. You could use cream cheese. I'm sure you could use um, like mascarpone or ricotta. But you wanna leave the rind on because this will keep it from like oozing everywhere when it melts. So we're just gonna tuck these right into the center. If you have to squish your cheese, that's okay. It's gonna melt anyway, it's not gonna matter too much. So that's our cheese inside our little crescent roll shells. And next, I'm gonna get a slotted spoon for my cranberry sauce. I'm using a slotted spoon for this because I don't want it to be too juicy and runny. You could strain your cranberry sauce if you had you know, some left over. This one's pretty juicy and I like it that way. Um, but if you wanted to separate it, your cranberry sauce, you could uh, run it through like a strainer 
and then save the cranberry juice that you or the the liquid part of your cranberry sauce for something else you could make like a cranberry curd and make a pie but i'm going to just drop on some cranberry sauce onto each one of these so now we have our cranberry in so i'm going to go ahead and put these into the oven at 375 for about 15 minutes we want that crescent roll dough to cook all the way um, but not not burn <laughs> so these are going to go into the oven they're out of the oven i wish you could smell these they smell so good look how pretty they are too and that ooey gooey brie cheese mm, yummy yummy i can hardly wait to eat one of these i'm not gonna wait to eat one of these i'm gonna have one hold on i gotta show you this because it just popped right out of there like it was easy i mean it just lifted whoop, Look how perfect that is. Okay. I'm gonna eat it. I know it's gonna be hot because it literally just came out of the oven. Whoa. Okay. This is so good. So I got them all out. Only one of them got stuck. These are so good. I think if you wanted to add like some cons to this or walnuts you could on top if you wanted to go really savory instead of really sweet you could do that with like goat cheese and some roasted garlic maybe or um i don't know like italian herbs or something but i think these are perfect i know i said these would be nice on your like brunch buffet these would also be really good on a charcuterie or with your charcuterie board because there is cheese in here and it's nice and sweet and it's a nice like warm snack these would also be good cold um i'm gonna eat a couple more of these and that's all that i have for today's video i know it's really short but we made something with our cranberry sauce and I, my point today was i wanted to show you that there are other things you can do with your cranberry sauce other than just eat it with your turkey be creative if you strain your cranberry sauce and like your um stovetop stuff if you strain it and you save the gooey juice that comes out of it you can make mimosas like cranberry mimosas with that because that would be really good you could make a curd and make a cranberry pie the way that you would make like a key lime pie like a key make you instead of making like a lemon pie and a lemon curd you make a cranberry curd and make a cranberry pie that could be really good i saw a recipe online and was like put cranberry in your uh, jalapeno poppers so you can mix it with cream cheese and put that inside a jalapeno popper i think the fruity with the the pepper of the jalapeno would be really good i'm not making that today i made these so there you go but anyway be creative have fun with your cranberry sauce it's not just for turkey so that's all and you guys will see me tomorrow in another vlogs giving video bye mm.